guys! Today I'm so excited. We are doing a friend mail unboxing. I met this girl on my Instagram. Her name is Carrie. She lives in the UK and we've been talking for quite a while now. She's such a nice girl. Um, and she ended up asking if she could send me some stuff from the UK that we might not have here. Um, so I accepted and today we're going to unbox this box. I have no idea what's inside. She told me to have a glass of milk ready. So I have that. Uh, but I'm excited. I don't get a huge opportunity to get things from the UK, so let's take a look to see what we've got. Um, we are going to jump into this. This box is like a pretty decent size, so I don't know how long this is going to take, but hopefully it's not going to take like three hours because I tend to get distracted very easily. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more of me, please make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Let's jump into this box of goodies. The first thing I'm seeing at the top is a note. I don't know if she wanted me to read this on camera or not, so I'm going to read it really quickly to myself. But this actually looks really cool. That's really sweet. Okay, I'm excited. So the first thing I'm seeing is some candy, which <laughs> I'm always, always down for some candy, and I have a feeling that this is going to end up turning into like a UK candy taste test. So the first thing we have are these Fry's Orange Cream. It's rich dark chocolate with a smooth fondant cream. Honestly, I have a thing for like orange flavored chocolate. Those chocolate oranges that come out during like the Christmas time are my, oh my God, those are my absolute favorites. So I am going to try this. It's a bit, ooh, it's a bit semi-melted because I live in Arizona and it's hot as hell right now. But let's, let's see what happens. Oh my God, okay. This tastes like those chocolate oranges, but like almost like with cream in the middle because there's cream in the middle of it. Oh, <gasps> mm. that's my new favorite thing. What is this fries orange cream? Have you guys ever had this before? It's from Cadbury. Let me know down below. My uh, stepdad is originally from the UK and he freaking loves Cadbury. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's really good. Okay, so then we have Payne's Poppets, which are chewy toffee covered in milk chocolate. Okay. Oh, they're cute little. Okay, they look almost like, um, oh my god, what are those? What's that candy called? The, I'm blanking on the name. I'm completely blanking on the name. But if you know what I'm talking about, like, leave a comment, because that's going to bug me. Oh, they're really chewy. Those malt flavored balls, that's not what this is. That was malt and this is toffee. Okay. I had completely gotten my candies confused. These are actually really good, but these are toffee, not malt bowls. Um, I like toffee. It's just really chewy and I was not expecting it to be so chewy, but those are actually really good too. I'm so jealous of the candy that they have like literally anywhere else because it's just so much better than our candy in the US. Okay. Then we have Barrett Dip Dab Softies. Okay. <gasps> oh, those look like little radishes. I like those. Those are so cute. And I love gummy candy. Oh my god. They're strawberry and lemon flavored. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my god. I'm just like, I'm just gonna be, sur mm. I'm just gonna be surrounded by open candy. That is so good. Okay. <gasps> Kinder chocolate. Um, these, is, this is eight plus two small bars. So we have like kind of tender out here. Melted. I definitely should have put this, um, maybe like in the fridge before I tried to eat it, but. That's good chocolate, man. Oh my God. I really just want to like go to a UK candy store and just go shopping. I don't know. It's so good though. Then we have the Cadbury Bourneville Classic Dark Chocolate. <gasps> oh my god. I don't even know how to open this and I just want to open it. It has three bars in it as well. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, good. Tastes almost like a mixture of like US dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Like I wouldn't consider it straight dark chocolate. Which I'm cool with because I do dark, like dark chocolate, but it's really bitter. And this is like still really sweet. And um, yeah, I'm I'm down for that. That's amazing too. So UK chocolate is woo, phenomenal. Okay. Oh, this is it. Okay, the Terry's chocolate orange. That's the oranges. 
that they release, that, like, they come to the U.S. Um, around Christmas time. And I always get a whole bunch of them. <gasps> and they have a chocolate bar. Okay, this is, like, really melted, and I don't want to open it right now because I definitely want to put this in the fridge get it to reharden because I have a feeling those are going to be my absolute favorite because those chocolate oranges are my absolute freaking favorite chocolate but they're so hard to find because you can only get them seasonally so this one I'm not going to try on camera but I'm going to put it in my fridge and I'm going to reharden it <gasps> I freaking love the orange chocolate this is the Barat Dip Dab it's a sherbet dip with a tasty strawberry flavor lolly so I'm wondering if this is almost like our fun dips Mm. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. So. It says it's a sherbet dip, which I'll be honest, I've never had before. But it's not as like sugary as like fun dip would be in the U.S. It's definitely interesting. Uh, not as sugary though it's almost like I don't want to say sour but like maybe blander a little bit because it's just I don't know like fun dip is literally like you're just eating powdered sugar and I don't know what like, this is specifically I don't know what a sherbet dip is like it's good but I expected it to be like fun dip and it's just not as hard stopping <gasps> Okay, Nestle Smarties. These I have had before. These are like little M&Ms. They're so good. My stepdad has brought these back for me before when he's gone out to visit the family because my stepdad is from the UK. These are so good. I don't even know how to describe them. Like, chocolate in the UK just tastes different than the chocolate that we have out here in the US. But it's so much better. They're really good. It's like M&Ms, but like almost sweeter. If that makes sense. It was really good though. Okay. Oh my god. We have the fries. Strawberry cream. I am so into this. You have no idea. Oh my god. I am going to be like on a sugar high. Okay. So it's the same basic thing as that orange cream one. Oh my god, how is you that? I think I personally prefer the orange one, but that is so freaking good. Like, if you like strawberry, that is the one for you. Alright, we've got Cadbury Crunchies. This, I have not tried before. There's like four little little ones in here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm. They remind me of Butterfingers almost. Because it definitely is like just that very chewy center. It's actually really good. Once again, they are like semi-melted though. So the rest of them I'm going to put in the fridge to harden up. That's actually like, and I'm not a, a huge fan of Butterfingers, but this is like, it's not, like it reminds me of Butterfinger in texture way, but it's not that flavor. And I can't, I, I have no idea what flavor that is, but it's amazing. Like that's really good. This is so exciting. Okay. Then we have Milky Way's Magic Stars, which again, I've never heard of. Okay, they are partially melted. Mm. Oh my god. <gasps> it's like little pieces of a chocolate bar. Oh, it's so good. This is not in English. Oh, it is. Okay. So the UK has these candies called Aero Bars. And it's aerated chocolate like in a candy bar and so it's like I don't even know how to describe it they actually sell them here you can buy them at um like Kroger or like we have fries in Arizona so you buy fries in Arizona you get this like crispness that's really hard to find in chocolate that's not aerated and that's what this is this is aerated milk chocolate pieces oh my god I feel like I'm going into like a chocolate coma you have no idea how excited I am about this it's just so much chocolate to take in all at once I just so fucking good okay mm. Okay, then we have the Twix Salted Caramel. I feel like we have this in the U.S., I think. I'm not 100% sure. But let's go ahead and try that because if we do, I have not tried it yet. It is genuinely, like, so... Oh, my God. I have just, like, a bunch of, like, open candy all around me. That's fantastic. 
Okay. Then we have... This is so much chocolate, I love it. <laughs> then we have the Nestle Smarties Buttons, which is also partially melted, but let's see. Oh my god. Why? This is so good. Like, really? Then we have the Quick Milk Magic Sipper Chocolate Flavor. So this is a milk flavoring sipper with chocolate flavor, okay. So I'm assuming that this is why she said I was going to need the milk. Do not cut the straw. You just put the straw in the milk. There's like all of these little chocolate bead things in it, but you're not supposed to cut it, but it looks closed. That's so cool! So I feel like we've got something like this in the U.S., but I've never seen like these with like the little chocolate flavored like beads inside. Um, that's amazing. Um, and it really does like, the milk doesn't taste like straight up chocolate milk, but it tastes like so much better than regular chocolate milk. My kids are going to freaking love that. Okay, and then this looks like it is the last candy in here. This is the Barat Refreshers, a hard tablet formed fruit flavor fizzy sweets. So once again, we have a candy that like this reminds me of. I cannot remember the name of it. I used to be so into candy too. Okay, so it's like a little tablet looking thing. Oh, I've got bottle caps. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of bottle caps. But this is like fizzier. So I would definitely go so far as to call this refreshing, even though it's candy. And bottle caps were kind of like more dense. And once again, this is almost more like aerated. So it just elevates all the flavors so freaking good. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much, Carrie. That's amazing. We have some other stuff in here too that we're gonna talk about really quick. Um, I just gotta come down into Sugar High really quick because that was, <laughs> this is a great day, you guys. It's a great, great day. Okay, so um, it looks like we've got some makeup goodies. We have the Beauty Formulas at Bamboo Charcoal Cognac Facial Sponge. This brand I have not tried. This is a UK brand, um, but I freaking love cognac sponges. I've talked about them to death before. I use them um, to wash my face when I take a shower. They work so well, and it really makes my skin feel like even better as to like if I was just washing with my fingers or whatever. And I really do like these. So I'm really excited to get to try one. This is one made with activated charcoal and it says it's 100% natural. And I do like trying out different brands because there are some brands out there that do not make good cognac sponges. And then there are some that are fantastic. So I'm excited to get to try out a brand that we don't have out here. Um, so that's awesome. Then we've got some makeup goodies. We've got an hour lip gloss, a lip gloss, and then three Jeffree Star lip glosses. Oh my goodness. Okay. This hourglass one is so pretty. <gasps> Ooh. Hello. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here are swatches. Oh my god, why do I always do it on the wrong side of my arm? This is the Hourglass swatch that is so freaking pretty. I love Hourglass lip products. And then we've got the Jeffree Star lip glosses. The blue one is Diet Freeze. I'll be honest, um, blue is not typically my lip gloss color, but that is such a beautiful shade. Uh, the white kind of iridescent-y shimmer one is uh, Ice Cold, which that is going to be so beautiful on top of um, like lipsticks. I don't know how well you can see that because I did like it horribly on my arm, but that is gorgeous. And then this like peachy pinkish one is I'm the Boss, and that is just that's a beautiful shade. Like, that is so stunning. I love that. Just thank you so much. These are beautiful colors. Um, I actually am really excited about this blue one because I, <laughs> I definitely think that I'm going to get some use out of that. I like the wacky lip colors, and that is so up my alley. Okay, oh, and then the last thing in here, we have a pack of Light Styles Cotton String Lights. She had said in her letter that she thinks that these would look really good in the beauty room, and I must say I do agree. These are gorgeous. They're like little, um, 
what is that? Oh my god, why can I not think of anything today? That like string art, but it's like around the bulbs. Put some batteries in here. Fens, obviously, I just have to untie that. These are so pretty though. And I'm almost wondering if I should switch out the lights I have up there and put these there, or if I should put these over by my vanity. <gasps> I don't know, but I love those. Those are so pretty. Okay, so thank you so so much Carrie this is amazing there's so many goodies here to try and play with my kids are going to go absolutely insane for the, all this candy so will my stepdad actually like he's gonna think this is the coolest thing ever so thank you so much oh look my milk is turning into slightly chocolate milk okay so word of note um, let it sit in your milk for a little bit because that is way chocolatier Okay, so so I'm gonna go um, just eat the rest of this candy basically. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. A huge, huge, huge thank you to Carrie. I love everything so much. Thank you. I'm gonna have to send you some candy from the US. Um, well, I'll DM you. We'll talk about that. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.